Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. Today we will talk about creating indexes and why you may need them. First, I'm connecting to MySQL Shell. I'm opening MySQL Shell in SQL mode, connecting to a MySQL instance on my local machine with a user named Scott, and I'm using a schema named MySQL Shorts. After MySQL Shell connects to the database, we will see some product information and information about the connection. For this demo, the important thing to note is that the default schema is set to MySQL Shorts. We can now run commands against the MySQL Shorts database. First, we are going to get the explain plan for a query. The explain plan will display information about the performance of the query. We can see the explain plan by adding the word explain to the beginning of any query. The query we are looking at is selecting the first and last name from the user table for every user whose job title is accountant. The backslash G at the end of the query tells MySQL shell to output the results to the command window in a vertical format, so it is a bit easier to read. When we look at the explain plan, we can see that the items named type, possible keys, key, keylen, and ref are all null. We can also see that over 99,000 rows were scanned to get our results. To improve the performance of this query, we can add an index for the job title column. We create an index using the alter table command with the add index command. In our example, we create an index named job underscore title underscore IDX and populate it with the values from the job title column. With our index created, let's look at the explain plan for our query one more time. We can see that the items that were null earlier now have values. Note that the values for possible keys and key are now the name of the index that we just created. This tells us that when we run a query that filters on the job title column, the new index will be used. Probably the most significant change is that only 1,644 rows were scanned instead of more than 90,000. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.